apparently at some point Microsoft and Xbox were working on a battle royale uh, version of Halo that was kind of quietly canceled. The only reason we found out was, was because the uh, lead game uh, developer, or I can't say game developer, but I can't remember his title specifically. But basically, the lead guy on that project confirmed on LinkedIn that at some point they were working on a Halo Battle Royale. And what's crazy about that to me is because when I think about Halo, I'm like, what gaming world fits that Warzone esque Battle Royale? Uh, theme better <laughs> than Halo. Like it seems like a layup. Like even the whole thing of like the Fortnite drop into the world, they got that from Halo. So I'm like, it, there's a lot of things where I'm like, why wouldn't Microsoft just see this through? Uh, but you know, you're our resident Xbox expert, S rank. So I'll kick it to you first and what you th- thought about uh, oh. that information. It, it, you know, it, everybody knows right now who's a Halo fan that it was um it was not really a, a Microsoft. Well, Microsoft has to do with the infrastructure of how things are being created at their um uh, in their studios. Hence, why they can never get anything finished. Um, they do a lot of outsourcing, and you know, if you have a six months contract and the game takes probably two to three, four years to make, you would imagine, right? That's uh that's going to cause a disruption. And how your game is being processed. So, a lot of that probably came off of them not going through with it because of manpower, difference in creative, uh, creative um, direction. Mm. Having another, uh, there was so basically, if you were, if they hired you, right, to um, they hired you as a contractor, you would have to learn their engine, right? But you're you're familiar with Unreal Engine. Their engine doesn't even move anything similar like it. Mm-hmm. So now you have to, you have six months to learn a whole new software. And as you go start making the game, uh, <laughs> you tell yeah. me, you tell oh, me well, where that cool. works. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I'm <laughs> taking duct tape to, to um, patch a hole on my cruise ship. Yeah, good luck, man. You, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and this is what they're doing. Oh, uh, I, 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 I don't know, man. Um, because, they're... sorry, not to c- completely cut you off, but like, it's interesting, right? Cause I, I feel like at one point there was a moment where people weren't sure if the battle Royale was going to work for the call of duty franchise, right? When they did call of duty wars on people were like, wow, why would I play this? This is better for battlefield. Fortnite does this already. And it's been working, right? Like it took a little while, but the call of duty community has come to terms and, and, and in a lot of ways, um, widely adopted and embraced that format for Call of Duty of all things. So it's like, I would think that the Xbox heads would have been more encouraged seeing that type yeah. of reception. You, you know, because you, for me, uh, um, Battle Royale shouldn't be a game. It should just be a mode. I agree. If I'm, if I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, because mm-hmm. it's all it is is just big team battle. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, that's that's the power of marketing, man. That's the power of marketing, making you believe that, yo, uh, imagine a game mode where it's the game. Wow. But then you you realize it's not enough to make a game. Halo would have extremely, hey, Halo would have benefited from this so much because a lot of um, people's memory of Halo, well, um, in my generation in Miami, uh, where, where the school I went to, Somebody was going around putting the demo on everybody's server. So we mm. people came accustomed to Halo because they were like, when we were at Computer Lab, we just went on Halo and we started playing with the keyboard and mouse. And we was like, yo, this game is fire. And so that's that's what helped Halo, <laughs> at least down here in our community, get off mm. the ground, lock up and popping. So it was um, the reason why I don't know why they canceled that, the Battle Royale is, I think, because of just how the infrastructure of 343, you already know that's not the, the company. They were not a great company. Um, there was a lot of um, people uh, switches, a lot of firing, Barney Ross getting fired, you know, uh, or quietly leaving. Then you you hire the guy who who, who helped create Halo the best hate versions of Halo mm-hmm. as along with the story on um, with the story and you get rid of him. What, um, what are we doing? And then not only that, just, it just wasn't really, um, 
sense. They didn't have a synergy. They didn't have a community within the structure. That's what I can imagine. That's what contrib- contributed to them not even going through with, um, not, them not going through with Halo. Because for me, I'm asking myself, why, why, why isn't there a battle? Uh, everybody was telling them, yo, do a big team battle, mm-hmm. big team battle royale. I just don't think they had the manpower to execute it or the direction or the power or the interest. And, or maybe creatively, they were just being held back. You have to say, hey, we should, maybe we should do this. No, because there's you can imagine there's a lot of people that are willing to work on Halo that love Halo. But because they don't have said title and name, you know, you have you're hiring people who don't care about the product. That's what you get. That's what you I get. Think, I think it's also from the outside looking in. Right. I, I think it speaks to the bigger identity crisis with the Halo franchise where, like, I don't think Xbox knows where the Halo franchise fits into their uh, overall ecosystem in 2024, right? Like, you can, when they're doing this whole, like, rollout a couple weeks ago that we didn't really cover, where it's like, yeah, now we're switching to Unreal Engine, and here's Master Chief and all his Unreal Engine glory. It's like, to your point earlier, it's like, you would have thought, why didn't you guys adopt this sooner? Like, why are you, why is this just now becoming a thing? For this um, franchise, like what are y'all doing? I, I mean, I have I have my worries and concerns about that. I was just completely sold. You guys didn't even see me bring it up. I know. I, yeah. I realized. Right? <laughs> so, what did I tell you? I didn't even bring it up because, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even bring it up. There mm-hmm. was a lot of stuff happening with Xbox. I didn't say a word. You want to know why? Eh? You want to know why? Eh? Why? <laughs> I, where my shirt at, man? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Spell it out for you in simpler terms. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> but wait, wait, wait. It's backwards, right? That's why. PC. <laughs> That's why. All roads lead to PC. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm done. Part of me is done and. Um, it just, I'm not sold on the team, man. A lot of these, a lot of these games, their direction, they, it's like they, they've lost the edge. Anything with edge now is removed mm-hmm. when, when, you know, they're, they're trying to make Halo when you, you from the original form, then from the original formula of what Halo was, give us more of that reach expanded on. I know a lot of people don't like Reach. I love Reach. It to me, it's Halo One, Reach, um, three and two. Mm. Uh yeah, I get why people love three, man. Um, it is great. Uh, I just couldn't get over the. I'm a, someone who likes the animation to come together. So okay. Halo Reach, when you look at the animation wise of Halo Reach, it came together more for me. The animation they took cues from. Call of Duty, who had great mocap, motion capture movement. And I think Halo uh, Reach was directed, was directed amazing. Um, hmm. I like it more than Halo 3. Uh, I, I'll die on that mountain. I I like the implement, I like how they implement certain mechanics from Reach. But, you know, of course, Reach didn't get the support because Bungie was out the window, right? Bungie was mm-hmm. making a transition a tra- transition out so yeah reach didn't get the best support for online multiplayer um that's probably what that's probably why a lot of people didn't like reach that's mm-hmm. why i started to stop playing reach because it was just like yo we play in the same stages over and over again and it just it was you can tell it was the end of an era but it was a bittersweet one mm. because that campaign that campaign was amazing story and the characters i just wish i wish i had more time with the game and i um from what halo's gonna do it's not enough for me man it's not enough for me that's why i wasn't really impressed uh i'm worried about master chief design even though it was that was the halo one suit i just it just doesn't feel it doesn't does it come off like it comes off like Disney Chief? There's like this Disney five filter on every game now. Like nothing looks. Yes, to, I mean to that kind of goes. Edginess, you know, yeah, that's gone. That kind of goes back to what we've been saying through multiple pods now. Of like, there's this weird industry wide fixation on photorealism 
that trumps like artistic style nine times out of 10, where for some reason, developers equate showing the power of a console with the most realistic graphics ever, right? So games that would benefit, you know, even with Halo with these like fantastical alien designs that might benefit a little bit more if you took a couple of artistic choices. It's like, well, we can't do that because we got to justify why you bought an Xbox Series X. You no, know, like, I, I, just, that's how I, I look at I'm it. Not, I, I feel you, but I'm not sure. But the thing is with those games, like Resident Evil doesn't look like Alan Wake. Right. It's not photorealistic. It's not. You're okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're not. saying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Halo doesn't have to be photorealistic. The environments can look whatever, mm-hmm. but just the color palette, you know what I'm saying? There's the color palette doesn't really, is not really there for me. It looks like I don't want Halo to look like it was made in unreal. If you understand what I'm saying, I want I them. I want people. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it to look like it was made in unreal. I mm-hmm. want there's some, some stylistic changes. Gears of War doesn't Gears of War, you know, Gears of War is made in the Unreal Engine, but Gears of War had, if you go play the uh, classic Gears, there is definitely an artistic choice and direction there. Mm-hmm. I don't, um, I don't want you to be able to look at a Canyon field and say, is this Halo or Jedi Fallen Order? Exactly. I, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I, I'm, I'm on board with you. Um, I agree. And with Halo, even though it's in the early stages, um, they did pull off Master Chief. They did make Master Chief's armor from Halo 3 uh, way, way more uh, com- compact. And that's what I want. Master Chief has to look jacked. He has to look like Master Chief. Mm-hmm. If you're going to make me play as a Spartan, that Chief that I saw just ca- came off a little toyish. I didn't think that was the best designed Chief, even in Halo Infinite. That wasn't my favorite Mark uh, Four suit. Mm. The Molnir arm, the classic Molnir arm, it wasn't, it wasn't my favorite. I like it. I, you know, I bought it for nostalgia purposes, but it, it was, there was some things missing. The combat evolved version still hits harder as far as, um, art concepts. Yeah. Which um, is why, which is why, again, from the outside looking at it, I just feel like they, they need to kind of hone in on what they want Halo to be. Whatever have that you may ever look played like. Halo? Of course I have. You played, you played Halo one and you beat it? I haven't played, no, come on. No, I didn't have an Xbox, but okay, I played okay. Halo like, Especially during college in the dorms, like my roommates were all. What's your fa- what's heads. your what's your what's your favorite one? I mean, it would have to be Halo Three. That's the one I ever played. Mm. <laughs> so, like, you know, from from like just perspective. I mean, obviously, I've I've known what Halo is. I've seen Halo being being played, but that's the only one I've physically played myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, we can go on to the next topic. I think with uh with Halo story, you have to have story. You have to. Halo doesn't doesn't do anything to lead. Halo used to lead in example of how you make a video game. It doesn't do that. How you do a shooter it doesn't do that anymore. Mm-hmm. It doesn't lead like Super Smash Brothers is still going to lead. Yeah. If you have a copy of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, just grade it and hang it on your wall. Mm-hmm. You'll never get that again. Yeah, that's that's that's, uh, that's we've seen other companies try and it not come close. Yeah, I'm not gonna play Brawlhalla. I'm not. I'm never gonna play Brawlhalla. I don't care. I'm not playing Brawlhalla. <laughs> I'm not playing Brawlhalla. Mm-hmm. I don't care about your characters. I I can tell that you guys the 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 knockoffs. They don't even do a good job concept wise. I think there's this thing going on around where you have like somewhat. It's like a a Goldilocks zone of trash character design, but it's free. 